His Eminence, the respected members of the clergy, my brothers and sisters. I am a representative of all the innocent victims of the brutal, unforgettable East attack 2019. I am the voice of every wounded heart, still grieving an untimely loss, still suffering in silence with an unfillable void. Even I lost the most important person in my life, the person who meant the world to me, my father. I stand here today in front of you, on behalf of you, to fulfill a duty, to thank you all for being with us for the past four years. Your Eminence, when I lost my father and many others lost their families and friends, you stood by us and with us from that dreaded day one. We all know that you had to suffer a lot, go through a lot, but you determined to suffer with us. We are truly grateful to you and to your spiritual army of priests and nuns for being our strength amidst the persecution. The prayers, the guidance, the consolations we received on our darkest days, we will never forget. You will be always be upheld in our most utmost sincere prayers and you are and will be our only hope and our strength. We also truly remember thankfully His Excellency, Most Reverend Dr. Brian Udagwe, the Apostolic Museo of, uh, for his blessings at this hour of this day. We thank all the religious leaders of the Buddhist, Islam and Hindu communities for sharing our pain and unifying in our effort at seeking the justice for the victims and supporting us, especially in agony. We are grateful to the media personnel for keeping our cause and memories alive in the hearts of people. Let me also appreciate specifically Mrs. Shashi Raja Mahendra, the chairman, and Mr. Shevon Daniel, the executive group director of Sirasa, for their presence and live telecasting of the mission of the day. Please do advocate for the truth and justice. I thank our community, our parish, our village, and our nation for rallying around us on our quest for justice. May you all be blessed for your solidarity in our suffering. Above all, we thank our Father in heaven for the strength we received to strive through this pain. May the Lord shine his light on the darkness covering all the truth and give us the grace to understand the mystical meaning of our suffering. Last but never the least, I would like to thank everyone for being here to show us support and to pay respect to all the lost souls in the East Attack. We will continue to pray for the Catholic Church, your eminence, and all the clergy for their mission here on this earth. I will wind my speech with a guarantee and a big trust in my heart that you or I will never be left behind as the victims of East Attack. Thank you very much for everything you have been doing for the past four years and will continue to do in the future as well. May God bless you and thank you very much.